out here today for Thursday, October 12th goes to Ben Affleck. Now, this could just be hate because I'm still upset about how trash Batman versus Superman was, but I don't think I'm hating. Because I've been watching this whole situation with Harvey Weinstein, and if you are just getting out of prison and don't know what the hell is happening, Harvey Weinstein is losing everything because he is a sexual predator. A man in a position of power in Hollywood who used that position to get poom poom. Several Hollywood stars have come out and said Harvey Weinstein made unwanted sexual advances toward them. Some are saying he raped them. Uh, those who did engage with him are saying they had no other choice because they thought if they didn't, they wouldn't have a future in Hollywood. Now, I haven't... I haven't heard any reports where Harvey actually said, hey, sleep with me, I'll give you this role, or if you don't sleep with me, you won't get this role. But this is the, this is the mindset that these actresses have when they are in these positions, and you can understand why, right? Now, when I hear these stories, I'm thinking to myself, there's no way Harvey is the only one. If you are in the business, and even when you're not in the business, you hear so many of these types of stories. That's where the whole idea of the casting couch comes from, right? So Harvey can't be the only one. Not only is he not the only one, all of these various people in Hollywood knew what was going on, and for whatever reason, they decided to turn a blind eye. Now, if you ask me, I would say they acted like they didn't know what was going on because they, A, didn't want to ruin a relationship with Harvey Weinstein and any potential opportunities with him in the film world and B I think a lot of them threw a blind eye to what Harvey was doing because they was doing it too all right don't think for one second that Harvey Weinstein was the only man in a position of power in Hollywood who wasn't using that power to force poom poom and booty out of people okay so when I started to see all these male actors speaking out against Harvey I said to myself I hope their closet is clean you know that saying, you can't smoke crack in a glass trap house. When you start pointing the finger at others and what they do, you better make sure your porch is clean. All these people in Hollywood trying to act holier than now, like they didn't know what was going on, and some, I'm sure, were doing the exact same thing. Hell, Harvey probably recommended some women to these guys. I am positive that it was men in Hollywood who, who were using their positions of power to get Poom Poom as well. I'm sure they all felt entitled to whatever women and men were at their disposal. Okay, now... Batman, Ben Affleck posted on Twitter. Or is this Facebook? I can't tell anymore because they didn't give us <laughs> more characters on Twitter now. But ben, Not everybody. Yeah, Ben posted on some social media site. He says, I am saddened and angry that a man who I worked with used his position of power to intimidate, sexually harass, and manipulate many women over decades. The additional allegations of assault that I read this morning made me sick. This is completely unacceptable. And I find myself asking, what can I do to make sure this doesn't happen to others? We need to do better at protecting our sisters, friends, coworkers, and daughters. We must support those who come forward, condemn this type of behavior when we see it, and help ensure there are more women in positions of power. Mm. That was Batman, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I agree with everything he said, but all I kept thinking was, Ben Affleck, you've been in Hollywood all these years. You and many others had to know what was going on, but when it benefited you to be quiet, you were silent, but for whatever reason, it doesn't benefit you anymore to be quiet, so you're speaking out now. The thing about calling people out, though, is you have to make sure your resume is flawless, and if it's not flawless, you at least at some point in your life had to own your mistakes, apologize for your, for your mistakes. You have to live your truth so no one can use your truth against you, especially in this age of social media where evidence is always presented that can ruin your reputation in the court of public opinion. In the case of Ben Affleck, Here's Exhibit A, old Batman, the Cape Crusader, who came to take down the evil villain known as Harvey Weinstein, forgot about the time he was on TRL and was caught grabbing a woman's breast without consent. Can we play that clip? He's like, I'm just free-spirited. Uh. It's so nice to see you. <laughs> and he wraps his arm around me and comes over and tweaks my left boob. Nice to see you. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but Hillary also was like, ooh. I'm just like, what are you doing? And there was a little... Please? I don't know. We played the tape over a couple times. Yeah, he pulled that move. That's sure. move, yeah. <laughs> Some girls like good tweakage here and there. Um, I'd rather have a high five. Now, last time I checked, uh, grabbing a woman's breath without consent was sexual assault. Uh, what do you think made him feel like he could do that? His position of power. Now, it doesn't stop there. Ben Affleck back in 2004 was in Montreal promoting a movie called Jersey Girl. The movie was a Merrimax film. Uh, Merrimax was a company owned by Harvey Weinstein. Now, let me set the scene for you. Ben Affleck has this young lady sitting on his lap the whole time throughout the interview, and she's trying to interview him. But it's kind of hard when the interview subject makes you sit on his lap and, you know, talks to you like this. They would like it better if you did the show top at the station, wouldn't they? Well, you usually show a lot more cleavage than this. What's the, know, what's the story? Why are you covering it up today? Well, it's Sunday morning. It's Sunday morning? <laughs> that never stopped you before from getting the f***ers out. Oh, you trying to fool Sunday morning. You could be in church, you usually have that rack on display. These breasts are very firm. Suspiciously firm, I have to say. I, I mean, they are like two giant stones. 
<laughs> what just happened? How are you get like that? Not because it's a sport bra. Oh, sport bra, that's yeah, right. that's right. <laughs> Let's do a Janet Jackson stunt. Are you wearing your nipple ring? <laughs> Holy sexual uh, assault, Batman. Wow. All right, what a hypocrite. Now, I know you hear these young ladies laughing, and you're like, oh, well, they're laughing. They're seeming like they're enjoying it. Well, here's the thing. Anne-Marie Lowski or Hillary Burton could easily say all these years later that they were uncomfortable by that, and they would have every right to, okay? In fact, Hillary tweeted out, girls, I'm so oppressed with you brave ones. I had to laugh back then so I wouldn't cry sending love so yes ben you think it's all fun and games and these women are cool with you touching them because you're ben atfleck but they were just intimidated by your position of power not to mention ben atfleck was engaged to j-lo when he was doing all of this and i'm not here to judge ben atfleck i'm just here to show you that this is a great example of before you call someone out or chastise them just make sure that your actions and behaviors live up to and reflect the words ideas promises and commitments that come out of your mouth Please give Ben Affleck the biggest hee haw, please. Jeez. And this is why not oh, too many disgusting. men. This is why not too many men in Hollywood are really speaking out against Harvey Weinstein because they are all guilty of doing the same type of things. And if they do speak out, knowing they were doing the same dirt, they could easily get their card pulled the way Ben Affleck just got his card pulled. 